I welcome you to the course Deep Learning for Business. My name is Jung Moon Chung and I'm a professor at Yonsei University that is located in Seoul, South Korea. In this course, we will study about deep learning products and services where we will look into what types of products are available and what types of services are available and what will be coming out soon. Then afterwards, we will look into chapter two which talks about business with deep learning and machine learning. How businesses are already using machine learning and deep learning technologies to improve their productivity and improve their overall sales and capabilities. But then we'll also look into new methods that we could apply such that our businesses could be improved as well in the future. Then we'll look into deep learning computing systems and software. This is because you need to know the technology part so that you know what is available and how you can put it in. In addition, as a business professional, you need to know the techniques, what they're doing, exactly how much capability they have, such that you can request for the right resources to be put into your business in the right way. So therefore, this is the part that introduces the beginning part of systems and software. Then going into a little bit deeper to make things understandable as easy as possible. We're going to go into the basics of deep learning neural networks and take an overview of what neural network technology is, why it's called deep and why it's called deep learning. Then we'll take a glimpse into some of the core technologies that are being used in our products today, which are the CNN, the convolutional neural network and the RNN, the recurrent neural network. And these things and these systems are in the systems and technologies that you have been using every day. And through this part, you'll see how and where. Looking into products and services based on deep learning, we'll be looking into IBM Watson, Amazon Echo, Echo Dot, and Alexa, Lettuce Bot, Athelas, Iva, which is artificial intelligence, virtual artist, and Apple Watch OS 4 and HomePod speaker. In chapter two, we'll focus on business with deep learning and machine learning. We'll first look into business considerations in the machine learning era. Then we'll look into business strategies with machine learning and deep learning. Then we'll take a look into why deep learning is popular now and also characteristics of businesses for the future with deep learning and machine learning. Then in chapter three, we'll look into deep learning computing systems and software, where deep learning open source softwares will be looked at. Then we'll look at the Google TensorFlow, the Microsoft Cognitive Toolkit, the NVIDIA DGX1 system, and also Google AlphaGo, and the ImageNet Challenge, the ILS VRC. The AlphaGo system and the ImageNet challenge are interesting because AlphaGo provides a comparison between human competing against machine learning, deep learning technology, and the ImageNet challenge is a competition between deep learning systems. Who performs better and how does it work? There are very few ways to benchmark and, or compare these artificial intelligence systems. And here, AlphaGo, and the ImageNet challenge provide a great reference for that. Then in chapter four, we'll look at the basics of deep learning neural networks. I will make it as easy as possible to understand how neural networks work and prepare you for the deep learning part. What is deep learning and machine learning? Then we'll look into the structure of this relationship where artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning, what is their correlation? What is their relationship? In addition, what is a neural network? How does it work? In addition, you'll see, for example, that a neuron is modeled into a systematic structure. And how does this work? In the most simple terms will be explained. Then we'll look into neural network based learning using the back propagation model, where you can see a neural network model, the outputs and finding the error, then using that to retrain to learn the system, to make the system learn better such that you have an improved performance. How does it work? In simple terms, I will explain it all.
Then, in chapter 5, we're going to look into actual system structures that are used popular nowadays, where we're going to focus on CNN and RNN. Here, CNN stands for Convolutional Neural Network, which has a structure that uses the convolution and feature maps in a multi-layer structure. Then there's the recurrent neural network structure, which is shown right here, and it's used in various applications. So therefore, I will be introducing the technology, try to make it as easy as possible to understand, while we look broadly and into the future, as well as what is the issues right now. I hope you join me in this course of Deep Learning for Business, and I look forward to spending the course lecture structure with you in detail. Thank you very much.